It's the middle of the afternoon, hours before the evening rush, but the Port Authority bus terminal in Midtown, the nation's busiest, is a heaving mass of people heading to and from the city. From crowded sidewalks out front to the sweaty and sometimes dank hallways, onto long lines and ultimately bus platforms groaning under the weight of hundreds of thousands of daily commutes. It's not very welcoming when uh, people from other states come and then they see all these homeless people out here, uh, drug addicts and uh, people sleeping here, perverts walking around. And the aesthetics they try to change outside, but it's still the Port Authority bus terminal, let's face it. They got signs in there that say, it's not just the Port Authority. Yeah, what is it? It's a bus station. For many people around here, including Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg, Senate President Steve Sweeney and Senator Bob Gordon, the place just needs to go. During the tour of some of the terminal's operations, the senators got a behind-the-scenes look at how this place, despite all the challenges, actually runs. There's a lot of things that have to go right for the system to work, and that's what we've got staff keeping an eye on every day. Both the staff that work at the bus terminal and the staff that work at the Lincoln Tunnel understand how critical this um, operating the mass transit system is. That's 90,000 travelers during the morning rush alone, 630 what they call bus movements an hour. Impressive on the surface, but when it breaks down, it really breaks down. And when you're stuck in the bus terminal, well, that can be unpleasant. The Port Authority has set aside $90 million in capital funds to make some short-term fixes, but says Sweeney, that is woefully inadequate. The Port Authority in New York, New Jersey, is a transportation authority. And they are not, this bus terminal nor the tunnels were in their capital plan, 10-year capital plan, which is insane. Senator Gordon raised a scenario that many transit experts say is likely over the next few years, one of the commuter tunnels in Manhattan needing to be taken out of service for an extended period of time. You're going to see a 75 percent reduction in capacity of that tube. 80,000 people are suddenly going to have to find a way to get to work. It's something commuters like Sheila Powers of Marlboro shudder to think about. I can wait most nights for two, three buses to go by. And the help that is in here, these gentlemen that work in here, couldn't be any nastier. A Port Authority official on the tour said he'd check with his bosses to see if he could speak to us, but when we turned around, he was gone, disappeared into the ocean of humanity that gives this building life, while at the same time threatens to choke it to death. In New York City, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.